Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about cycling and what exactly was my cycling schedule during my step one prep. And I'll go into exactly how cycling helped me. So before we get into this schedule, I want to talk about real quickly what cycling is. So cycling allows you to review material on a weekly basis. That constant repetition is what will increase your score. And I cycled with Pathoma. So the main purpose, again, is just to review all the subjects in Pathoma on a weekly basis. I also want to add that cycling is best once you've passed one of your NBMEs online. And the reasoning for this is cycling will allow you to increase your score by a lot, at least 30 points. So once you've passed, you can actually reach whatever goal score you have in mind. So that's why I say it's best used once you've passed one of your NBMEs. Okay, so now we'll get into what exactly my cycling schedule was. And you'll see a screenshot of it over here and you can follow along, write it down or take a screenshot yourself. So Monday, I would do the first three chapters of Pathoma. Tuesday, I would do the heme chapters four, five and six. Wednesday, I would do the cardio and recipe chapters. Thursday, I would do the GI and renal chapters. Friday, I would do the endo and repro chapters. And Saturday, I would do the MSK and neuro chapters. So that's exactly what my breakdown was. And now I'll go into exactly how I, how I cycled. So whenever I cycled, I had the Pathoma video up for the chapters I was doing. And I would watch that chapter or that video at a 2.5 or 3 times speed. And I would follow along in my Pathoma book as well. Now, I know a lot of people might be thinking, well, what did I do Sunday? <laughs> Sundays were usually the days that I took a practice exam just to see how much I improved from the previous one. So Sunday, I would take a practice and BME or I would just do four blocks of view world back to back to mimic a practice exam. Okay, now I wanna go into exactly how I cycled. So how I cycled is I would watch the Pathoma video on 2.5, sometimes three times speed, and I would follow along in the Pathoma textbook. So as you can see, this method allows you to constantly repeat what Pathoma is saying as well as reading it. It's this constant repetition that really helps solidify topics as well as recall. Now, a couple weeks into my cycling, I did switch it up a little bit. So instead of reading along with um, the Pathoma textbook, I switched to the first aid textbook. So I would listen to Pathoma and I would read along in the first aid. And I found this nice, it was a nice change instead of constantly reading <laughs> Pathoma. Uh, the first date allowed for a nice change because it's a little, it's broken down a little bit differently and of course they explain things a little bit differently. So that's something you can do if you want to change it up a bit. Now initially while you're cycling you may find it difficult to fit all of Pathoma within a week but if that's the scenario I would suggest cycling for longer than a week, maybe a week and a half or two weeks whichever works for you. And then um, you can try this method before dedicated if you have time. And once your dedicated comes around and you like the method, you can go ahead and fit it into a week. So as you can see, it's this constant repetition with listening to Pathoma as well as reading Pathoma and first aid that will increase your score. And I'd also like to point out whatever topics I cycled in Pathoma, I also read in first aid. As you probably remember in my previous video, I explained that I would cycle for four or five hours and then um, a couple hours after that I would read those sections in first aid. So for example, if I cycled heme, I would then go and read those sections in first aid. So it's again, constant repetition and that's what will increase your score. Also, I want to say that I definitely recommend taking the practice NBMEs, the CBSSAs online, as well as the UWorld, um, as well as the UWorld diagnostic exams. And my reasoning for this is it'll help you gauge exactly what are your weak spots, as well as the question styles that they may ask on step one. Additionally, they also help to see how much cycling is actually helping you. So your first two weeks of cycling, you should notice a huge increase, at least 10, 20 points easily. 
and your practice exams will reflect that. Also, I'd like to add to take the practice exams with a grain of salt. Obviously, it's just to get an idea of what material you need to work more on or what you're strong in and kind of help you gauge what to study more. And it also does give you insight into what, ex what to expect for your step one. But my reasoning for taking it with a grain of salt is that step one is completely different. <laughs> for example, for me, I found that my step one was a mixture of both MBME style questions as well as UWorld style questions. So I had long vignettes for some and I had just one sentence questions for some. So I highly recommend taking UWorld diagnostic exams as well as the MBME ones, especially the new ones. And my reasoning for the new ones is I know they're harder, a lot harder, <laughs> but it'll help you see where exactly you fall compared to everyone else that is taking those practice exams. And it'll help you understand what you need to work on more. Also, I'd like to say that definitely take your practice exam scores with a grain of salt. Uh, my reasoning for this is often people think that they won't score higher than their practice exams, but I'm here to tell you that that's not true because I scored highest on my step one compared to all my practice exams. Practice exams are not to tell you how much you will score on the step one. Again, they're more to tell you what you need to work on, your weak points, as well as what your strong points are, because those questions on the practice exams, they're not going to be on your step one. <laughs> But I do want to say the free 120, definitely look at that. And my reasoning for this is there were like, <laughs> I think there were a total of like two or three questions on my step one that were on the free 120. So do not skip on that. You're like guaranteed to get at least two questions, I think. Um, so I highly recommend doing free 120 because that's like a guaranteed two questions. <laughs> also, I want to add that the last week of my dedicated time, I didn't do cycling and I didn't do any questions. I basically just read first aid and pathoma, different sections that I wanted to focus on. For example, I focused more on biostatistics as well as farm. That's all memorization, right? Like knowing the formulas, knowing the mechanism of action. So that's what I focused on more. Uh, the last week of dedicated. I didn't do cycling or questions the last week. And I do want to recommend that everyone who's going to take step one read the first three chapters of Pathoma because it is insane how many questions just came from those first three chapters. It is true when people say who have taken step and they recommend reading the first three chapters, all that is true. There are so many questions from the first three chapters of Pathoma, it's insane. And those questions from the first three chapters of Pathoma, they're super straightforward. They're not trying to trip you up or confuse you. It's either you know it or you're not. That's why I recommend reading the first three chapters for sure. At least I would say three days before your exam, three, four days before your exam, whichever you're more comfortable with, but definitely within that last week. So this concludes my video on cycling and how exactly I did my cycling schedule. And I do want to point out that this can be used for any, any exam. Um, you just have to find a way to break it down on a weekly basis that works for you. And that constant repetition is what will help you increase your score. Once you've seen and heard certain materials so many times, it definitely sticks in your head. And, and you'll notice this as you do it. I remember at one point, I believe I was on my fourth or fifth week of cycling. I would, as I was reading the question, I would remember what he said in Pathoma and I would pick the right answer. So at one point you will consciously remember everything. And that's, that's what'll help you on the test day. So this is my cycling schedule. I hope you found it useful and I hope you try it and definitely tell me down below in the comments how you found it or if this sounds interesting to you. I definitely like to hear your feedback. Um, this is a method I've shared with my friends and they love it. I did the cycling method for the first time with another friend and he loved it as well. We both did really well on our step one. Definitely higher than what we thought we could do <laughs> and definitely higher than our goal score. So that's something to look forward to. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.